Hello! In this video, we are going to see how to insert our own components and how to use a database. By default, the Scallion database is loaded. We can exchange it for the user database in which we can insert our panels. In the Scalion folder, we can find both database files. In the user folder, we have the file without panels. We can edit this file with any text editor like Notepad. And in the database folder, we have the file with all panels. We can add the panels we want. We can also use Excel for the editing, but we have to check with a text editor that Excel has not added quotes or semicolons instead of the commas. We can also add panels using the Edit User Database tool. Let's add our own texture. In the folder Solar Texture we must save a PNG image with the same nomenclature. So we call it Solar Text 3.png. Now we can create our own panel. For length units, we can write M and CM like in SketchUp. But not for a power. And wait, these units are always in Watt and Kilogram. We save the new panel. And we check, we can check that it is in the user file. Now, to insert, we only need to select the user database and then our panel is inserted. We can insert complex solar objects using SketchUp components. Let's create a component with 20 panels. We can add a texture so that the component becomes very simple with only 8 points and the calculations are faster. With the right mouse button we make the component and we convert it to a Scalian component. 20 panels of 100 Watt are equal to 2000 Watt. And its weight is 40 kilo. In the component window, we see that the component has been added. Now we can insert it with a 35 degree tilt and use it, use the in model database. We can add more details to the model, which implies lower calculations. Ground power plants require lots of calculations, so we must take care of this. For roofs or small installations, we can add more complexity to the components. In this component, we must change the axis position. Scalion needs a z-axis perpendicular to the collector surface. And it will insert a component just in the axis or origin. If we drag from the component window to the model, it has to be in this position. Now we must mark the collector surface, then Scalion will be able to calculate the pitch. The axis we chose 
corresponds to the landscape position. We can see that the tilt is the same that we inserted in the dialog. The tilt is 35 degrees. We can insert any type of component, like this one with several panels inside. These panels must be a Scalian component to make a report. Its axis must follow the Scalian rules, the z-axis perpendicular to the collector surface. We convert it into a Scalian component, 230 watts and 5 kilograms. And now we have three instances of Scalian components in the model. Now we convert it into a component and then into a Scalion component with a Scalion tool. We don't need to add anything here. And we have the component in the model. Let's insert it following this edge. We leave the relative tilt at zero degrees because we want it to be coplanar. We select the component, its width is 1.65 meters. If we don't want space between rows, we can choose any of the first three pitch options. Otherwise, we use our own pitch, which is equal to the panel width plus, for example, 35 centimeters. We can check now that the space between rows is 35 centimeters. Let's make a report to calculate the quantity of the instances. We can see that we don't have the panels inside the main component. We must mark the main component as a non scalian component. With this trick, now Scalion will count the inside components. We can see the orientation of the panels in both directions. Thank you for watching!